Hey there. Today is February 18, and yesterday is a big drop, right? Then I think we are both unhappy, and like our title, right? Everything drops. The market is very scared. The market is scared of everything. So everything drops, no matter what the performance is. It's good, it's bad, it's a big crop, it's a small crop, doesn't matter, just drops. No matter what the performance is. If the performance is good, and then you drop less, right? And then the minimum expenditure is something like 15%, right? <laughs> At least you drop 15%, no matter what, no matter how good is performing and then if the performance is bad right not very good as Shopify then it drops to well below the value that she should have right it drops under to the PE is 28 which is nonsense so this is the first time I agree with Kathy Wood is now the market is irrational is irrational because it is very scary so what should you do now, right? So we will talk about it. And then some of the readers want me to take a look at uh, Pentair because it just announced that the performance and that is very short. Um, not, of course, not very good, right? The earning is very little, but not as bad as it should be. And then it pounds 15% in a tick, something like that. So it's just like the no one wants the um us stock right they just want to dump it right just dump it and then as the garbage um don't do anything stupid yet just hold your cash and hold your stock if it is a good one first don't do anything right don't try anything right because now the market is still very shaky we don't know how it happens right we don't know how it goes so this is my advice first, then, and we will go deeper, right, very soon. And then our Falcon portfolio then drops anyway to uh, 68%. Huh? So if um, any of you want me to discuss on any stock or analyze, then you can leave your message under the YouTube or email to me by US Stock Market Weekly at gmail.com. And this is our Falcon portfolio. Everything drops, right? <laughs> no matter what it is, no matter it's Google, Apple, Apple's performance is proved that to be good, then still drops, right? And even NVIDIA is drops. I think the performance is excellent and then it still drops, right? So the market is irrational sometimes, right? Actually, it's not sometimes. A lot of the times, then the US stock market or all the stock market in the world is not rational. It's just how it irrational. That's what we should look at, right? And today we will take a very quick look at Penn Tires. Uh, last year's um, last quarter, the fourth quarter's performance is very short. It's just few pages. So Dow Jones yesterday punks more than 600 points yesterday right very quick you can see that very quick it dropped 400 points and then further drops and then it nearly closed at the day low you can see that even worse on nasdaq it drops 400 points that means nearly um dropped at 2.88 percent yesterday right it's just dropping you can see that it's not bouncing up it's just dropping from 14,000 and then to mm -hmm. 13 and 700, right? It's just dropping. It just drops. It's not bounce back. Keep on dropping yesterday. And the main reason is because of war. Whenever, whenever there is war, right? Whenever there is war, everything drops, right? All the stock drops. Only some of the things like some resources like gold, silver and oil prices that will rise that means that resources is scarce something like that right it's scarce something like that right and 
all the instruments, all the tools in the financial markets not useful, right? Including the treasury bonds, anything because there's war, right? Because there's war, so only the things that is or real things that is valuable is the valuable. So you can see that um, the pullback of the Russia from Ukraine then is a uh, rules or something like um, just a strategy. And few days before, few days before, the intel from the U.S. government already said that that is just um, strategy. And yesterday, I heard both news. Some news said, okay, it started by Russia and some said it started by the UK I don't know right and the US satellite is monitoring both sides at the same time right so that's what it is and then if it it is not a big it's not a big fight yet right but you know that any lighting of a small smack of a small matches the market is scared okay there's a war the war is coming although the war is far from the US far from USA right then no matter what it is so we still have to be very careful don't try anything don't try anything but I do not think that you need to sell your stock because now a lot of stock is very cheap already it's cheaper than it should be so don't try anything just hold the cash and this is the first time I agree with um, Kathy Wood and then what she said just yesterday is now the stock market is a massive misallocation of capital something like that right it seems the stock is garbage the people just want to dump it out as quick as possible and they do not know where to put their money they just want to hold it or buy some gold buy some silver or buy some oil something like that right so that is something and one typical example that I have this stock is Shopify all right it seems this is garbage it just keep on dropping after the performance but the performance is not so bad for the whole year of 2021 but the market just scare and then they want to dump it out but Shopify is still doing business every day I think the I think from the performance I will analyze the performance in my Hong Kong channel um, I think the PE ratio should be something like 40 35 to 40 and you can see it's dropped under 28 this is nonsense right that means the share price the reasonable share price after the performance is something like 900 something like that without any premium it's 900 something like that but you can see now suddenly it drops to 660 right that means it seems no one will use Shopify but in the contrary a lot of people a lot of merchants still using Shopify and this is linked up with um, JD.com right in in China and linked up with a lot of like uh, Amazon something like that so right this is what it is so another one is what we don't want to look at it is PayPal although we already sell it right and PayPal and Wimbo starts to charge a fat fee for crypto trades for the trades under two hundred dollars. Then they need they will begin to charge you, right? But at um, I don't know. I didn't take it out because actually I'm not using uh crypto for PayPal. I just use PayPal to receive the money from the patron or from other readers that is overseas. So um, actually maybe it's um good boost up right but we have to wait for another two or three months for the next performance announcement right so that's what it is and amac the performance is good and then it still crash yesterday <laughs> the performance is I, I think it's very good right just some uh, forecasting figures is not as good as the perf the consensus but it's still crashed down yesterday so the market is irrational now right need not to say Nvidia right and then there's a strong fourth quarter earning then still drops 
still short more than 5% yesterday after the closing. We will continue to hold NVIDIA, uh, myself and the portfolio. And then another one, although we sell it already for Walmart and Walmart's performance is okay, but the share price dropped it already from 144 to 157. Even now it rises at two dollars, it still dropped under 144, although we sell it out already. We sell it out without any loss, right? And low earning and low loss, but um, the market is just not reasonable. Um, we have to pay attention now to the mortgage rate in United States, right? You can see from this diagram, you can see that the um, from Freddie Mac and the mortgage and the primary mortgage market survey. It just yesterday, February seventeen, right? And the U.S. weekly average mortgage rate now for thirty years fixed loan is reaching nearly four percent already. 3.92%. You see that it rises up very sharply after last year's September. So this will affect the people's attention to buy the house because the expenditure increase. This is not a short term, this is for 30 years, right? I can imagine after 30 years, maybe I already passed away already or I can move, right? <laughs> Right, because actually, um, for even Wonderful and Charlie, they still okay, right? But they are over ninety, right? Uh, I don't know if I can, I still alive after thirty years, right? But uh, I hope they are long living because they are good men, right? So actually, then this kind of um, sharp rising of the mortgage um, interest rate will um, this this encourage the people that want to buy the house in the coming season. It happened in Hong Kong already. It happened in Hong Kong many, many years before, right? Whenever the interest rate increased, people will um, not so active for one or two months. And then after the economy uh, becomes hot again, and they will come back and then buy the house. So the um, interest rate will keep on climbing up and climbing up, but slowly. But slowly, I don't think the bubble will burst out now, right? Because it's just three point nine two percent. At least when it comes to six or seven percent, then we should be careful on that, right? So we talk about about we talk about uh, Palantir. Then we know that uh, Palantir is a big software company, a big one. The main customer is Financial Institute and the U.S. government. For the U.S. government, it's mainly is for military, getting the intel, counter-strike, or anti-terrorism. So that's the main idea of Palantir. But for past few years, I've been um, analyzed at Palantir for a few times. The performance is not good. And this time, it's a little bit better. A little bit better, not very bad, but the stock prices, pang, yesterday. Although the although the performance is not very bad, so we can take a quick look on that, right? Just few pages. So you can see the parent tie yesterday, pang, it dropped at fifteen percent, one five, and then actually parent tie been dropped it from one year before thirty dollars to. 14 already and then after yesterday it dropped to 11.77 right still has no PE because it nearly has no profit so no PE so let us take a look on that I um, already take out the actually we always look at the adjusted income not the income because in Palantir a lot of financial activities something like that. So a lot of financial activities, so we just look at the adjusted adjusted net income, then it's the adjusted earning. So you can see that actually the revenue for the last quarter increased 34% than one year before. And for the full year, it increased 41%. And for the adjusted earning, that means just for the business, 
not for financial, not for other one thing, something like that. Then you can see that the adjusted earning is very small. Just two cents. Just two cents, right, per share. And for the whole year, it's just 13 cents for whole year. I have compared the net income rate of the whole year and the last quarter, and you can see the result is the adjusted net income for the whole year of 2021 is 20%. It's 20%, right? It seems okay, right? But for the last quarter, it's just 10.5%. So it's decelerating. It's low. It, it, it becomes lower, right? So, but even though like that, right, it should not be pumped, right? The share price should not be crashed. Yesterday is crashed. I think the share price at least, at least should be one year before, but no, sorry. Just dropping. But don't try anything now, right? Because the market is irrational. A lot of stock now is very cheap, especially for some stock like, I'm waiting for AMD, right? I'm, I'm waiting for AMD, but don't try anything first. I know that you want to, well, a lot of readers then just give me um message or email said, should I buy now? Don't, don't try anything first. Now it's very risky. We don't know how Russia and Ukraine goes. You have to know that whenever there's a war, everything drops. Stock market, the um, treasury bond market, no, ma no matter what it is, unless it is gold, silver, um, oil but after the war if 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 for this russian and ukraine conflict if it ends then the market will strongly rebound and then all others the oil price the gold prices the silver prices pumps very quickly so don't try anything or you can try but in a very short period maybe just one night maybe just few hours don't hold it for a few days we don't know Maybe after today, the Russia really pull back to the Russia choose, pull back to Russia, and then everything finished, it, right? Because I don't think that Putin wants a war, and I also don't think that Ukraine wants a war, right? Of course, the maybe United States won a war, won, won a war, right? <laughs> I don't know, but actually, I don't think that they want a war. So don't try it, right? Otherwise, then um, the losses will be huge, or you can try a little bit for speculating, but don't invest too much, and then to be a very short period, right? So you can see that for the cash, right? Well, for the cash for Palantir, still okay. She has two point two nine billion U.S. dollar as the cash, and for the long debt, just very small, two point three million. Don't count the um, a lot of people that will count the operating lease liability. And that is something like the rent, right? You have to uh, rent the places for the office, for the staffs. So maybe for the warehouse. So that is not that is not what I said is along that, right? That is for the lease. So normally I will only count on the long-term debt and the other non-current liability. For those is the lease or customer deposit and then the further revenue tax, I won't count it. So actually, it is um, still wealthy because it is still healthy, right? Sorry that uh, because actually, then it has no earning and it has no losing. So still holding the cash and still holding the long debt, right? We hope that it will have a uh, better earning in two thousand twenty-two. But um, as I just said, now a lot of stock is very cheap. Why you buy? A stock that is not so good right so if a lot of stock is very cheap then I recommend you after everything is settled that right you can pick up one or two stock that is have a good performance and the price is still low right you can find it everywhere now nearly more than 80% of the stock in the United States is cheap a lot of them is cheap. I can say that it's very cheap, but a lot a lot of them is cheap, right? So I do not I, I don't think that you should buy Palantir, right? You should buy a good one with cheap price, right? 
Okay, we share up till here, and then uh, today is Friday. I hope everyone have a very nice weekend. Then, if you like this video, please give me a like, and then share to your friends if you think they will like it. So please help to press the subscribe button and then the bell icon next to it. Whenever there is a, there is a movie uploaded, then YouTube will inform you. Okay, hope everyone have a very nice weekend. We see you next week. Bye-bye.